Happy Monday, you guys! I'm coming to you today with my natural hair. Um, I decided, I usually refer to my hair as being like a frizz ball, but I've decided to refer to it now as my Greek goddess hair. <laughs> Just embrace it, right? Um, so today, in today's musings, we're actually going to be talking about worthiness and investing in yourself and why that's really important. So um, recently, you know, John and I are really big on self-development. A lot of our friends know that about us, and it's something that we invest in. Uh, we have a budget for investing in ourselves to attend events, to, um, you know, participate in self-development, even to purchase books and self-development books. And we make the time to continually be advancing ourselves, growing our knowledge, and just stretching ourselves in ways that, you know, we're not typically that, you know, we're always trying to grow. Growth is the ultimate goal. So, um, you know, recently with my graduation of Ascension Leadership Academy in the past four months, stretching myself beyond what I ever thought capable and experiencing John going through it as well. He's got about five weeks left and then he graduates too. Um, but it really got me to thinking about how many people that I know don't invest in themselves. And I think the main reason is because they lack the worthiness of knowing how important it is to invest in them. You know, they have no problem spending money on the weekends for alcohol or partying. Um, you know, sometimes everybody has different priorities, right? And it's totally fine if those are your priorities to be spending money on those things. But how often are you investing in yourself, not only in self-development, but in taking care of yourself, in doing things that nourish you, in doing like having fun in um planning activities that maybe you know out of your budget but are just amazing life experiences that you've always wanted to try so it really got me to thinking like how what holds people back from investing in themselves and if you're not investing in yourself why aren't you um and i just wanted to share some of my personal experience in the last few months with really identifying and Realizing my self-worth because it's something I've always struggled with feeling worthy of Spending money on myself not only with self-development, but just getting my nails done or my haircut or uh, Going out to eat always feeling unworthy of spending money on myself And it was a really big shift for me in my training to know that I am worthy of everything that I want in life including trainings getting my nails done getting my hair cut buying clothes if I want to look fabulous whatever it might be that is really fulfilling to me at that time I'm absolutely worthy of spending the money on myself now granted if I'm broke AF and you know I'm in a savings grind maybe I'm not gonna spend $50 for my manicure but like maybe instead I will take the nice hour or two to pamper myself and give myself a fabulous manicure and maybe you don't have a, you know, a few hundred dollars for a self-development course that you've been wanting to take. But hey, there is YouTube. There is time that you could designate to yourself. You can buy books for like a few bucks online on eBay, like 99 cents for self-development books. It's amazing. There are 99 cent deals for self-development books on um, Kindle all the time. Like, it's unbelievable. I have so many books on my Kindle, it's like full and I, just <laughs> I need to spend I get to spend more time reading them is where I'm at um, but it got me to thinking because as I was you know talking to some of my friends and family about Ascension Leadership Academy in particular um, because it's just been such a life-changing experience for me that I really there are some individuals in my life that I just absolutely want to see them go through the process to be able to break through things that I know are holding them back and help them really to be pushed into following their dreams because there's absolutely no reason you should not be following your dreams. Um, and one of the, you know, the major um, obstacles I would say is money. It's really hard to pull the trigger and spend like $3,000 on something. It's really hard to pull the trigger sometimes and spend two or $300 on a training course. I know I have gone to buy Tony Robinson tickets and, or Tony Robbins, <laughs> I don't know who Robinson is, Tony Robbins tickets and stop myself prior to doing ALA because I felt unworthy of the like $800 for the weekend. How often have you done that to yourself? How often have you given yourself the disservice of not allowing yourself what you really want in life? And that's really the question that I have for you guys today. What is stopping you from investing in yourself? You are your biggest tool in life. 
Like that is no joke. You can literally use this brain of yours, this heart of yours, and your magical body that moves when your brain thinks and your heart wants to do something to do freaking anything that you want to do in this world. So if you are holding yourself back from whatever your dream and vision may be, simply because of finances or simply because you feel unworthy of it, let's work on that together. Let's figure out what it is that's in the gap for you. What's holding you back from truly achieving your dreams. If it's financial, like let's figure that out. Finances are super easy to figure out. John and I have been literally with like zero dollars in the bank before and we had a lack of resources seemingly but not a lack of resourcefulness and we have never not been able to make it work it's actually kind of amazing when you light the fire under your ass and do something how you just you don't give yourself the choice but to succeed or fail and it's kind of amazing like when i bought our ascension leadership academy tickets it was uh we were pretty broke I put it on the credit card. It was $6,000. John was like, um, what are you doing? And I was like, hey, we're going to ALA. Um, and it's going to transform our life and our business. And he was like in complete panic mode and complete breakdown around it, which is understandable because like $6,000 seems, uh, like a lot to invest in yourself. But when you think about how much you invested into college, when you think about how much you invest over a course of a year in things like coffee, or maybe alcohol, or maybe the green stuff, if that's what you're into, or whatever it may be, even junk food. Like, I have friends that will literally sit down and eat, like, a whole tub of ice cream at least once a week. Like, that stuff adds up. (laughs) And if you literally think about how much you're spending on coffee, even tea. Like, sometimes I go to Starbucks, and I spend, like, I don't know, it's, like, $2.50. I'll buy a tea because I'm in a client meeting. And like it's two fifty for a tea bag when I just bought a whole box of tea myself. So when you actually start reflecting on what you're spending money on and how much you're actually using of that those funds to invest in yourself, it's it's really interesting to kind of reflect on those numbers and see what's in the gap for yourself. So if you're holding yourself back from training, not ALA, but like training in general, maybe it's Tony Robbins, maybe it is just making the time to watch YouTube videos, maybe it's taking the time to read a book, whatever it may be that really fulfills you and that fuels your dreams and your passions because there is literally nothing you should be denying yourself if you're following your dreams and your passions. You should be like all in, a thousand percent, trying to make it work and hustling like a mofo to get it done in order to achieve your dreams. There should be nothing holding you back. John and I have this motto. If we're going to crash and if we are going to crash and burn, we may as well go down in a blaze of glory. There's a few F bombs in there too. <laughs> because it is really important to us to go all out all the time, play with our hearts, minds, energy 100% of the time. And I am a firm believer that anything is possible all of the time. So if you are holding yourself back from doing any kind of training, or any kind of investment in yourself, even if it's a nice manicure. Like, I'm going to get my man- my nails done tomorrow because, look, they're very grown out. I get to have a beautiful, nourishing manicure time for myself because I am so worthy of it. I get to invest in myself. And you know what? Subconsciously, getting my nails done brings me more business because I feel fabulous. And it helps my energy be up here. And I feel on fire. And I'm, like, ready to go. And the same thing happens when you buy new clothes, too. How awesome do you feel? Like a million freaking bucks, right? When you put on a brand new shirt or like a sexy new pair of pants or like a hot little dress, you're like unstoppable. You're like, you're looking in the mirror. You're like, oh yeah, this is it. I'm going to go out and conquer the world. You need that type of attitude all the time in all aspects of your life. So I encourage you and reach out to me if you need support in this because John and I have found ourselves in this situation dozens of times. I have denied myself so much in life because I felt unworthy of it. Or felt like, oh, we don't have the budget for that. Or, oh, I shouldn't be doing that. Or, you know, like, should, would, blah, 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 blah. Excuses is what it is. Don't make excuses for yourself. You are the biggest investment that you can make in yourself. And investing in yourself, honestly, has one of the highest returns. (laughs) Because if you crush it, life can be freaking awesome. When you are following your dreams, it doesn't matter how much is in the bank account. You are so happy here and here that you're like, bank account? What bank account? 
Love you guys. Happy Monday.